man says it's the end of time. Mississippi River, she's a going dry. And then they said, let there be light. That's dim. There we go. So how's everybody doing this weekend? Here we are in the cabin, experimenting with more lights. Um, this was relatively a neat one. I got it from Buckeyes. Uh, it's operated off a remote, and you've got, you know, low, and it goes bright. And then it's got another feature where you can turn it on, and in 30 minutes, it will shut itself off. Uh, this is just a test. I think you should be able to see me all pretty well. I don't know if my head's getting cut off or not. But we're out here. The puppy's passed out from the day. We've had a busy one. We're working on squaring up the cabin and everything and getting everything put where it needs to be. Uh, spent the night out here last night. It was really freaking cold outside. In here did fairly well. About every two hours I had to get up and stoke the fire. Um, I did not videotape any of the meals or anything like that, but I did do pictures because we were kind of in a hurry and I had to get firewood done and I had to, you know, I had a lot of stuff to do and a lot of hauling gear around and I just didn't feel like it was something you guys wanted to watch. Uh, this is just going to be a quick one. Um, we did bring with us, we have Not Your Father's Mountain Ale. And the Citrus Brew, 5% alcohol, 24 fluid ounces. Let this refreshing Citrus Brew take you to new heights. Elevate your taste buds with a balance of bright flavors and true craftsmanship. We know you'll enjoy it. We do. So we've got that one. Mountain Ale. Don't know how well you can see it. And we got another one here, which is a Red's, what is it, Red Wicks, Black Cherry, Refreshing Hard Ale. It's 8% alcohol. It doesn't have a little thing to read with it other than the warning from Surgeon General. Huh? Don't drink it. But it's a Red Wicks Black Cherry. Just says refre refreshing hard ale. I think we're going to try this because I've drank the, the other one before. So I want to try this one. Black Cherry. I usually like Black Cherry. Actually, it's really good. Kind of reminds me of the old soda. So, we had a productive day. The place is still kind of a mess because I just don't have room to put everything and I'm still working out where it is. Uh, here in a second I'll turn on a brighter light I'll show you some of the stuff I did. It's a really good ale. Which, I am not a beer person. And I tried a couple others that were supposable ales and I just I thought they were a little bit too... They were very overpowering. But this seems to be pretty good. If it tells you how hard the day was, this puppy is usually not doing this. And it's only like 7 o'clock. So it's not that late. Excuse the mess. Um... I'll give you a quick walk around real quick and like I said, just excuse the mess. I'm gonna kill it, turn on a bigger light. There's our stove going. I put a wood trim around it just to make it look near. Now what you're seeing on the floor here, this black, is my water barrier. And it just it gives the floor a little more cushion to walk on. Like I said, it's a mess. Puppy. And then we move the bed. It's built exactly the same. We just moved it. Then my little table. 
and my makeshift trying to do candle trying to do a candle so that's our walk around um the lights i picked up today the ones overhead i thought it was really neat that it's a push button so I could put it in my bag and when I start walking up on here, I can hit a button and turn the lights on in the cabin. So I think I'm going to put some outside too. I think that would be rather interesting. Um, I hope you guys are having as good a weekend as I am. It, it is only Friday. But uh, I took a couple days off this week. I had vacation from the following year that I had to use up. We did that and kind of came out of here and got stuff squared away. Did a lot of work around the property. A lot of chainsaw work. And now I'm just kind of chilling, relaxing, and I thought it was time to enjoy a brew. Uh, even though the cabin is only a 12 by 12, I'll tell you what, it's a lot of work to do a cabin. Especially by yourself. That uh, self-reliance guy my i give him absolute props on what he has done because he has built i mean his is house size and he did most of he i think he did all of it by himself like i had a little help one or two days but not much but um uh, here's to you uh you're a beast among men my friend a beast among men so i'm not gonna do a very long video this week i may do some stuff tomorrow but uh, like I said, I'll have a lot of editing to do with the pictures I take and the other stupid stuff I did just because I thought it looked cool. So I'm going to enjoy my reds. I do recommend it. Um, I am in the States. I'm in Illinois. I don't know if this is like, if you can get this kind of stuff like in Canada or across the ocean or anything like that. I, I have no clue really. But I do recommend it. It is pretty good. And I always hear this on everybody else's videos, but they don't pay me a dime. I'm just doing it. If it tastes good, I'll drink it. So you guys end up having a good day, and I'll catch back up with you later. Lady, move your tail. Lady, move. Your tail. Your tail's on fire. As you guys can see, she's burning pretty good. Um, the ammo box. I'll tell you what. I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world. But actually, that ammo box has held up really well. The sides are a little warped. I didn't do much to mess with them. But uh, it's done really well. I uh, have been in the, the idea of building one and not using the ammo box actually building it all myself the issue is um i want to add a challenge to it and i want to build everything without without a welder so i'll have to figure out other things you know how to hook everything together i've got an idea in my head and we've just got to see how it works all right you guys have a good one
2 a.m. And uh, our fire went out damn near completely. The uh, ash covered up the vent holes and almost put a fire out. I wouldn't have really known except for uh, a puppy dog robbed me of all my blankets. So we're letting it warm back up in here and we're gonna cook something or get us something warm to drink. But uh, we've got everything under control now. Get the fire back up and going. And you can already feel the heat and everything. I mean, it's not bad. I just hope my head's not cut off. It certainly looks like you're looking at my kneecap. I know we'll find out. fun has come to an end. We've got our bags packed. The puppy's raring to go. Come over here and get him a shot. Come here. Oh, come here. The puppy says, I'm raring to go. And also, we ain't got nothing left to eat anyway. So, I'm going to sit here, drink my monster, let my fire go out, and we're going to roll. You guys have a good day. Watch, I gotta move. Down.